Hi everyone, in this part of Laravel tutorial series, we will create our first Laravel application in Mac OS and we will also uh, install all of the necessary tools to create Laravel application. We will start with XAMPP. So we will install XAMPP for PHP, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. If you want, you can install these three tools without XAMPP also. You can just download one by one them or you can use the brew but that will take lots of time and after that you have to configure them also right so better to be uh, just install the XAMPP it will automatically install and configure all of these three tools after that we will install composer and then we will create our first laravel application after installation we will check our application is working fine or not and we will check laravel version also because whenever we are installing fresh laravel application so version should be latest for laravel and that we will verify and at last we will discuss some important interview questions also so let's open your uh, browser or you can just open the new tab and simply put there download xamp you can click on the first link and there you will find to download the xamp for windows linux and at last you will find for uh, OS X right which is you simply can say that Mac OS and you can download the latest version which is 8.2.4 for now maybe if you are watching this part after six months or one year then maybe this version will change right so let's install it it will hardly take few seconds to start uh, downloading so here you can see that downloading is getting started it will take some time so within time this is getting installed we can talk about composer so maybe you are thinking like what is composer see this is nothing but a package management tool for php so with the help of composer you can easily install libraries and framework for php for example if you want to uh, install or update the laravel or you want to install and update the cake php or any framework that that you can uh, do with the help of composer so you may ask like then why we have to use composer we why we cannot simply download and use the laravel and other framework see uh, that also you can do but better to use composer because with the help of this you can automatically update this it will uh, automatically update the internal libraries whenever they required for example current laravel version is 11 and after one year whenever 12 is released so you don't need to update all of the libraries manually you can just run one command it will automatically update all of the libraries and required things for laravel right so that's why we can use the composer all right so xamp is installed now you can open your download folder and double click on this setup so i already uh, downloaded this xamp multiple times because before making this part i was practicing all of these things right so don't worry if you are just seeing uh, one in the braces and all so after that you can double click on your setup and then it will ask something like XAMPP installer cannot be open because it was not downloaded from the app store right so what you need to do for that so if you are in the Mac right obviously uh, you are watching this video that means you are using Mac so simply you can press uh, the F4 and then there is a spotlight search and inside this you can search for privacy and security click over there and then just go down a bit and there you will find one option uh, to install uh, allowed application downloaded from app store and app plus identified developer so you can just change it for a moment then it will ask for password or something just do that then again click on the ok now you will find there is an option to uh, that application like XAMPP osx has been blocked from the uh, use because it was not uh, from the identified developer so you can just click on the open anyway right and just click again click on the open and you have to put password if password is set up for that your system password and it will start uh, installing hardly it will take some time okay so now you can click on the next just approach some steps simple steps and it will start installing all right so xamp is installed now we can click on the finish and uh, after that uh, it will directly open uh, automatically open a panel there if this is not getting open you can uh, do it manually by just click on the launch pad and then search uh, that xamp right 
and after that go to the uh, manage servers and uh, apache is already running you can if you want then you can also run uh, mysql database click on the start all right so that's all for xamp php mysql and php admin all of these are installed so let me show you if you want to see just simply click on the local host and not 3000 just this one only and you can see that php my admin and everything is installed properly all right now uh, what you need to do just open the terminal and if brew is not installed so actually in my system brew is installed if brew is not installed then you have to install the brew and now the question is how you can install the brew for that just simply search brew install mac or something like this then you will get the home page and you just need to run one command only which is this one right you can just run copy from there and you can run this command after that view will be get installed and to install composer what you need to do just put view installed composer and here we go it will just take some moments to install this composer and after that we will able to create our laravel application so let me show you the official documentation also for laravel uh, you can just click on the installation and there is a, a link to create a laravel project let's click over there and now you will find that uh, they are saying make sure that your application uh, local machine has php and composer so php is already installed we know that composer we are installing all right so yeah this is also get installed so now if you want to check you can simply search for composer if this command is working and if this is showing some this kind of data that means this is properly installed the next thing you can install laravel with the two ways first one you have to install composer global required laravel installer you have to run this command what actually it will do it will uh, install the laravel installer first and then you can create a laravel application but Bef better is you can create uh, your laravel application with a this this command also right so what you need to do just simply put go to the any folder there wherever you want to install laravel right so i'm just going to dashboard and then let me let me find out let me create one folder there mkdir or you can create your folder manually my folder name is laravel tutorials all right and inside this you can run this command right so i will change this application name the application name is there is example app so i will put my application name is vlog so i will write there composer create application laravel slash laravel and my my application name which is blog so let me just make a little bit bigger and now you can see that i'm my application name will be blog and hit enter it will just take some time to install your application And here we done now you can see that laravel uh, application is created the next thing that you need to do simply click on the uh, terminal and just put their cd and your uh, project name that you created right which is blog all right and then you can simply put their code dot there you can see that uh, some errors are there so you can ignore them I'm sure that they will not come in your system because this is my system issue, right? So after going there, just click on the code dot command. And it will open your this Laravel application in the V. Okay, so I guess I two time put their code. So just you need to put their code dot, not code code dot. And here you can see that your application. So if you want to verify your Laravel version, just click on the composer.json file. And here you can see that Laravel framework is 11.0. So let's say if you are watching this part after one or two year, then maybe this version is getting changed in according to your system, right? And time. Okay. So after that, you can simply run there PHP artisan serve. And you can simply click on this link, right? Or you can just simply click on the control and see open link. And there we go. This is completely working fine. Maybe in your system, you will find the white color instead of this black one because my system by default theme is black. That's why this is coming like this already. All right. 
so yeah this is installed and in next part we will uh, figure out our first change and how we can create first file and all thank you so much for watching this video if you have any confusion any query you can ask me in the comment section thanks guys thank you so much